Welcome friends. In this module we discuss more problems on normal and standard normal distribution. Let us revise normal and standard normal distributions and their important properties that we have already discussed. Normal distribution. A continuous random variable x with pdf f of x equal to 1 by root 2 pi into sigma e raised to minus of x minus mu all square by 2 sigma square for minus infinity less than x less than infinity is said to follow normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma. This is denoted by x follow n mu sigma. The shape of normal curve is bell shaped and symmetrical about the mean of the data. For x follow n mu sigma, mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation of the distribution. For a normal curve, about 68 percentage of the area under the curve falls within mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. About 95 percentage of the area under the curve falls within mu minus 2 sigma and mu plus 2 sigma. About 99.7 percentage of the area falls in between mu minus 3 sigma and mu plus 3 sigma. If x follow normal mu sigma, the moment generating function m x t that is equal to e raised to mu t plus 1 by 2 into t square sigma square. Standard normal distribution. A normal distribution with mean mu equal to 0 and standard deviation sigma equal to 1 is called a standard normal distribution. When x follow normal mu sigma, y equal to x minus mu divided by sigma follows standard normal distribution. A random variable follow binomial distribution with parameters n and p tends to normal, normal n p root n p q as n becomes large provided neither p nor q is very small. That is x minus n p divided by root n p q follow n 0 1 as n becomes large. Problem 1. The mean yield of a crop in one acre plot is 600 kilograms with a standard deviation of 30 kilograms. Assuming that the data follows normal distribution, how many one acre plots in a batch of 1000 plots would you expect to have yield 1 over 650 kilograms to below 600 kilograms? Solution. Let x be the variable denoting yield per 1 acre plot in kilograms. Given x follows normal with mean 600 and standard deviation 30, that is x follow normal 600 comma 30. Number 1. Probability of 1 acre plot to have yield over 650, that is equal to p of x greater than 650. Since x follow normal 630, u equal to x minus 600 divided by 30 follow n 0 1. p of x greater than 650 that is equal to p of x minus 600 divided by 30 greater than 650 minus 600 divided by 30 that is equal to p of u greater than 1.667. From the table of standard normal distribution we get probability of u greater than 1.667 that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9522 that is 0 0.0478. Then out of 1000 plots we expect 1000 into 0 0.0478 that is 47.8 plots with yield more than 650. Probability of a plot with yield below 600 kilograms that is equal to p of x less than 600. p of x less than 600 is equal to p of x minus 600 divided by 30 less than 600 minus 600 divided by 30. That is p of u less than 0. We know probability of u less than 0 equal to 0 0.50. Hence, number of plots expected out of 1000 with yield less than 600 is 1000 into 0 0.5 that is equal to 500. Problem 2. In an examination, it is laid down that a student passes if he scores 30 percentage or more marks. He is placed in the first, second or third division according as he secures 60 percentage or more marks between 45 percentage and 60 percentage marks 
and marks between 30 percentage and 45 percentage respectively. He gets distinction in case he scores 80 percentage or more marks. It is noticed from the result that 10 percentage of the students failed in the examination whereas, 5 percentage of them obtained distinction. Calculate the percentage of students placed in the second division. Assume normal distribution of marks. Solution. Assume x denote the marks out of 100 of a student in the examination. Given 5 percentage of the students obtained distinction and 10 percentage failed in the examination. The student passes if he scores 30 percentage or more marks and gets distinction if the mark is greater than 80 percentage. Hence, probability of x less than 30 that is equal to 0 0.10 and probability of x greater than 80 that is equal to 0 0.05. Let mu be the average of marks and sigma be the standard deviation. Then x can be assumed following normal mu sigma. u equal to x minus mu divided by sigma follow n 0 1. From p of x less than 30 equal to 0 0.10 implies p of x minus mu divided by sigma less than 30 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.10 probability of u less than minus 1.28 equal to 0 0.10. That is probability of u less than 30 minus mu by sigma equal to 0 0.10 implies 30 minus mu divided by sigma equal to minus 1.28. This implies 30 minus mu equal to minus 1.28 into sigma. Let it be equation number 1. From p of x greater than 80 equal to 0 0.05, we get probability of x minus mu divided by sigma greater than 80 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.05. Probability of u greater than 1.64 equal to 0 0.05. That is, probability of u greater than 80 minus mu by sigma equal to 0 0.05 implies 80 minus mu by sigma equal to 1.64. This implies 80 minus mu equal to 1.64 into sigma. Let it be equation number 2. Equation number 2 minus equation number 1 implies 50 equal to 2.92 sigma. This implies sigma equal to 50 divided by 2.92 that is equal to 17.12. From equation number 1, mu equal to 30 plus 1.28 into 17.12 that is approximately 52. Hence, x follow normal 52 17.12. The probability of a student placed in the second division that is equal to probability of 45 less than x less than 60. Here u equal to x minus 52 divided by 17.12 follow n01. Probability of 45 less than x less than 60 that is equal to probability of 45 minus 52 divided by 17.12 less than x minus 52 divided by 17.12 less than 60 minus 52 divided by 17.12. That is equal to probability of minus 0 0.41 less than u less than 0 0.47. Probability of minus 0 0.41 less than u less than 0 0.47 equal to 0 0.1591 plus 0 0.1808. Then probability of 45 less than x less than 60 equal to 0 0.3399. Hence, the percentage of students placed in the second division is approximately 34 percentage. Problem 3. The average project completion time of a real estate company is 20 months with a standard deviation of 4 months. Assuming that the project completion time follow approximately a normal distribution, find the probability that the completion time of a project falls between 18 and 22 months. By which duration the project have more than 80 percentage probability of completion? Solution. Let x denote the project completion time given x follow normal 24. Probability of 18 less than x less than 22 that is equal to probability of 18 minus 20 divided by 4 less than z 
less than 22 minus 20 divided by 4, where z follow and 0 1. That is p of minus 0 0.5 less than z less than 0 0.5. That is equal to 2 times 0 0.1915. That is 0 0.383. Let us assume by a months or more the project will be completed with more than 80 percentage probability. Then p of x greater than a that is greater than 0 0.80. That is p of x minus 20 divided by 4 greater than a minus 20 divided by 4 greater than 0 0.80. This implies probability of z greater than a minus 20 divided by 4 greater than 0 0.80 where z follow and 0 1. From the table of standard normal distribution, probability of z greater than 0 0.8416 that is greater than 0 0.80. This gives a minus 20 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.8416. This implies A equal to 23.37. That is, by the duration of more than 23.37 months, the probability of project completion is more than 80 percentage. Problem 4. 4x follow normal mu sigma prove that mu 2k plus 2 that is equal to sigma cube into d by d sigma of mu 2k plus sigma square into mu 2k. Solution. For x follow normal mu sigma, we already proved in a previous module that mu 2k equal to sigma raised to 2k into 2k minus 1 into 2k minus 3 etcetera into 1. Let it be 1 d by d sigma of mu 2k equal to d by d sigma of sigma raised to 2k into 2k minus 1 into 2k minus 3 etcetera into 1. That is equal to 2k into sigma raised to 2k minus 1 into 2k minus 1 into 2k minus 3 etcetera into 1. This implies sigma cube into d by d sigma of mu 2k equal to 2k into sigma raised to 2k plus 2 into 2k minus 1 into 2k minus 3 etcetera into 1. Let it be equation number 2. Multiply equation number 1 by sigma square, we get sigma square into mu 2k equal to sigma raised to 2k plus 2 into 2k minus 1 into 2k minus 3 etcetera into 1. Let it be equation number 3. Equation number 2 plus equation number 3 gives sigma cube into d by d sigma of mu 2k plus sigma square into mu 2k equal to 2k into sigma raised to 2k plus 2 into 2k minus 1 into 2k minus 3 etcetera into 1 plus sigma raised to 2k plus 2 into 2k minus 1 into 2k minus 3 etcetera into 1. That is equal to sigma raised to 2k plus 2 into 2k plus 1 into 2k minus 1 2k minus 3 etcetera into 1. That is equal to mu 2k plus 2. Problem 5. Life of a machine follows normal distribution with mean 750 days and standard deviation 150 days. Obtain the probability that the machine will have a lifetime one less than 400 days to between 500 and 800 days, 3 more than 900 days. Solution. Let x denote the life of the machine given x follow normal 750, 150. Then z equal to x minus 750 divided by 150 follow and 0, 1. Number 1, probability of x less than 400. That is, probability of x minus 750 by 150 less than 400 minus 750 by 150. That is p of z less than minus 2.33. That is equal to 0 0.01. 500 less than x less than 800 that is equal to p of 500 minus 750 by 150 less than x minus 750 by 150 plus 0 0.01 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 plus 0
problem 6. A normal population has coefficient of variation 4 percentage and 10 percentage of the population lies above 120. Find the mean and standard deviation. Solution. We know the coefficient of variation is SD divided by AM into 100. Let x be the random variable following normal distribution with the mean mu and standard deviation sigma. Then sigma divided by mu into 100 that is equal to 4. This implies sigma by mu equal to 0 0.04. This implies sigma equal to 0 0.04 into mu. Also given 10 percentage of the population lies above 120. That is probability of x greater than 120 equal to 0 0.10. This implies probability of z greater than 120 minus mu divided by sigma is equal to 0 0.10 where z follow and 0 1. From standard normal table probability of z greater than 1.2816 is equal to 0 0.10. This implies 120 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 1.2816. This implies 120 equal to 1.2816 into sigma plus mu. Put sigma equal to 0 0.04 into mu, we get 120 equal to 1.2816 into 0 0.04 into mu plus mu. This gives mu equal to 114.15 and sigma equal to 4.57. Problem 7. A sample of 100 items is taken from a population of items containing 25 percentage defectives. What is the probability that the sample contains 1 at least 35 defectives, 2 at most 20 defectives, 3 exactly 30 defectives. Solution. Let x be the total number of defectives out of 100. Probability of defective is 0 0.25. Hence, x follows binomial distribution with parameters 100, 0 0.25. Since n is large, we can approximate x to normal distribution with parameters 100 into 0 0.25, root of 100 into 0 0.25 into 0 0.75. That is, x follow normal 25, 4.33 or z equal to x minus 25 divided by 4.33 follow n 0, 1. Number 1, probability of at least 35 defectives that is equal to probability of x greater than 34.5. That is P of z greater than 34.5 minus 25 divided by 4.33 where z follow and 0 1. That is P of z greater than 2.194 that is 0 0.0141. 2, probability of at most 20 defectives that is P of x less than 20.5. That is equal to P of z less than 20.5 minus 25 divided by 4.33, where z follow and 0 1. That is P of z less than minus 1.039, that is 0 0.1494. 3. Probability of exactly 30 defectives, that is P of 29.5 less than x less than 30.5. That is equal to P of 29.5 minus 25 divided by 4.33 less than Z less than 30.5 minus 25 divided by 4.33 where Z follow and 0 1. That is P of 1.039 less than Z less than 1.27 that is equal to 0 0.0474. Problem 8. 600 students are appearing at test independently with a probability of success 0 0.40. Using normal approximation, find the probability of the number of students passes A between 260 and 280 inclusive, B exactly 250, C fewer than 230 and more than 250. Solution. Let x is the total number of students passes out of 600. Probability of success is 0 0.40. Hence, x follows binomial distribution with parameters 600, 0 0.40.
since n is large we can approximate x to normal distribution with parameters 600 into 0 0.40 square root of 600 into 0 0.40 into 0.60 that is x follow normal 240 12 or z equal to x minus 240 divided by 12 follow and 0 1 a probability of number of students passes lies between 260 and 280 inclusive equal to p of 259.5 less than x less than 280.5 that is p of 259.5 minus 240 divided by 12 less than z less than 280.5 minus 240 divided by 12 where z follow and 0 1 that is p of 1.625 less than z less than 3.375 that is equal to 0 0.0517 b probability of number of students passes is exactly 250 that is p of 249.5 less than x less than 250.5 that is p of 249.5 minus 240 by 12 less than z less than 250.5 minus 240 divided by 12 where z follow n01 that is p of 0 0.7917 less than z less than 0 0.875 that is equal to 0 0.0235. See, probability of number of students passes is fewer than 230 and more than 250. That is p of x less than 229.5 plus p of x greater than 250.5. That is equal to probability of z less than 229.5 minus 240 by 12 plus probability of z greater than 250.5 minus 240 divided by 12 where z follow and 0 1. That is probability of z less than minus 0 0.875 plus probability of z greater than 0 0.875 that is 0 0.1908 plus 0 0.1908 that is equal to 0 0.3816. Problem 9. The inside diameter of washers produced by a certain company is normally distributed with mean 0 0.50 centimeters and standard deviation 0 0.002 centimeters. A. What is the percentage of washers are with inside diameter more than 0 0.505 centimeters? B. Below what value of inside diameter will 30 percentage of the washer fall? Solution. Let x be the inside diameter of washers produced by a certain company which is normally distributed with the mean 0 0.50 centimeters and standard deviation 0 0.002 centimeters. Probability of inside diameter more than 0 0.505 centimeters equal to probability of x greater than 0 0.505 that is equal to probability of z greater than 0 0.505 minus 0 0.50 divided by 0 0.002 where z follow and 0 1. That is p of z greater than 2.5 that is equal to 0 0.0062 b. Let x be the value then p of x less than x is equal to 0 0.30. This gives probability of z less than x minus 0 0.50 divided by 0 0.002 equal to 0 0.30, where z follow and 0 1. From standard normal table, probability of z less than minus 0 0.5244 that is equal to 0 0.30. Hence, x minus 0 0.50 divided by 0 0.002 equal to minus 0 0.5244. This implies x equal to minus 0 0.5244 into 0 0.002 plus 0 0.50. So, x is equal to 0 0.49895. In this session, we discussed more problems arising in various real life situations involving the continuous probability distributions normal and standard normal. Applications of these distributions are illustrated through the problems discussed. Before moving to the next session, please try to answer the following questions. Given that the mean heights of students in a class is 160 centimeters with standard deviation 18 centimeters, 
Find the percentage of students with heights lies in between 154 and 168 centimeters. In a normal distribution, 31 percentage of the items are under 45 and 8 percentage of the items are over 64. Find the mean and standard deviation of the distribution. The time for a glue to set is treated as a random variable having normal distribution with the mean 25 seconds. Find its standard deviation if the probability is 0.15 that it will take on a value greater than 40 seconds to set. A manufacturer knows from experience that the resistance of the resistors he produces is normal with mean 80 ohms and standard deviation 4 ohms. What percentage of resistors will have resistance between 96 and 104 ohms? The books for your reference are Introduction to Probability Models, Sheldon M. Rose, Academic Press, 1997. Introduction to Mathematical Statistics, S. C. Gupta, V. K. Kapoor, Sultan Chand and Sons, 2003. A first course in Probability, T. K. Chandra, D. Chatterjee, Narosa, 2003. A first course in Probability, Sheldon M. Rose, Pearson Education, 2007. Probability and Statistics for Engineers, R.A. Johnson, PHI 2005. Hope the session was useful for you. See you next time. Until then, goodbye.